while at some level it is interesting that the gene bicoid is the signal to develop anterior structures such as the head in Drosophila larvae, uh, who cares? Uh, Drosophila is just one organism out of millions. Um, so why should one care about this particular system? Well, first, uh, as we try to understand how genes uh, work, as we learn uh, one mechanism in one organism, uh, who knows how common uh, our observations uh, might be and how this might be applied. But secondly, since life is evolutionarily related, it is then possible that bicoid, this homeobox transcription factor involved in embryonic development, uh, is performing a function in Drosophila embryos, which would then be conserved in uh, other organisms, perhaps even humans. Now, uh, as one screens other insects, it becomes apparent that the role that bicoid has in flies is not universally true among insects. After all, uh, flies have that syncytial egg where the nuclei uh, replicate without cytokinesis. Uh, this is unique to higher flies. And apparently there has been a gene duplication. Bicoid is a recent gene having been duplicated from a more generalized zerk nolt gene. And so uh, there may be limits in applying what we learn from Drosophila to other organisms, uh, given that uh, higher flies have a unique uh, setup uh, and a recent duplication of bicoid. An advantage to studying a gene or its protein in one organism is that probes can then be made, which allow you to ask the question, is this gene present in other organisms? Is its protein present in other organisms? And this question was asked of the uh, toad Xenopus, which is a common research uh, organism. Um, does it ex, uh, possess and express a homologue to the Drosophila gene bicoid? And the answer uh, was found to be yes. And the vertebrate version uh, of uh, this gene was named goosecoid. It was discovered in uh, the Xenopus uh, toad, uh, but then subsequently found uh, in fish and in humans. So thus, early animals must have possessed a bicoid-like gene, which was not only the ancestral gene, which would later become bicoid in Drosophila, but also goosecoid in vertebrates. And in humans, the homologue of the goosecoid discovered in Xenopus is located on the long arm of chromosome 14 in the region 14Q32. Once the gene is known to be present in uh, the frog Xenopus, uh, how does the expression of this gene compare to Drosophila, where it is one of the first uh, proteins expressed in the egg defining the head region? It turns out that in frog embryos and larvae, it is uh, expressed two separate times, once during gastrulation um, at an area uh, which is homologous to the anterior uh, primitive streak in humans, known as Spemin's uh, organizing uh, region. Um, and then a second time during uh, organogenesis in uh, the head uh, region, as neural crest cells uh, adopt a mesodermal fate. And so it shares an ancestral feature of being expressed in the anterior region of a developing embryo, um, but at not a, a precise correlation to how it is uh, used in Drosophila. There are variations in how goosecoid functions uh, as it determines anterior structures in vertebrates, ranging from uh, fish to frogs to mice 